welcome to this video about life path number three. If you are a life path number three, this video will give you a much deeper insight into what it means to embody your unique life path. So as with all life paths, we have the light side of your life path on the upper side above the circle and the shadow side of your life path below the circle. And let's remember that in order to master and fulfill your life path, you always have to go through both sides. Shadow side does not mean bad. It simply means another aspect, another side of the coin you have to master. So with life path number three, we are talking about the energy of creativity and childlikeness, an energy of joy, an energy of simplicity. With number three life path, these are the energies you need to learn to embody to be creative for the sake of creativity, to enjoy that bubbling creative energy of life that wants to express itself in the various colors of the rainbow, right? Emotional expression. It's a childlike energy. There's an innocence in three life path. So you have to connect and embody the energy of innocence that doesn't necessarily have a goal in its creativity, but enjoys the very burst of creative expression, of emotional expression, of the different colors. Very often people with a three will be attracted to be um, on the front stage as actors, as writers. Something about them wants to um, let the creativity out through words, through acting, through speaking. So there's a lot of curiosity about life path number three. In other words, it's embodying the archetype of the innocent child that simply has these big curious eyes and looks around and everything is so magical and unique. It doesn't have a goal, right? When we look at children, children do not have goals. They enjoy the moment. They cherish the moment. They can appreciate the beauty, the wonder of the moment. And that's what's so beautiful about number three and gives it that lightheartedness, that humor, that laughter, that joy. These are all qualities you need to embody and learn and hone in on in order to become the representation, the role model of number three, life path. However, let's not remember the shadow side, which you will also need to go through and understand and grow through. So life path number three, working shadow, will be very often superficial, superficial emotionally, superficial mentally, draw very quick shallow conclusions about people, about events, and not actually grow very often from mistakes, not learn from mistakes. I will get myself into a relationship, a dysfunctional relationship as a number three life path. The relationship will not work, it'll end, and then I will search for a new partner, partner find again a copy of the previous relationship and not understand how this happened. Instead of investigating, I will simply find some kind of very cheap or shallow or flat way to interpret the situation. How could this have happened to me? I don't understand. Why did this always happen to me? It's a little bit like a child that doesn't really investigate the reason for things, but just has this very black or white understanding of things, almost as if just fate uh, is the only ruling element and I have no part in the creation of my circumstances. So not learning from mistakes, one of the shadows. Overly naive, another one. I am trusting too much. Number three, archetypally, archetypically, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, is a very trusting number. It sees the good in people and that's what you're supposed to be. But trusting doesn't mean that I believe everything. And three, working shadow can sometimes be overly naive, overly believe in something and even want to perhaps believe in something and then be disappointed just later on further down the road, right? So stronger disillusionments as a result. And of course, needless to say, childlike turns into childish. Childlike has a magic to it, right? It's charming, it's beautiful. It's inspiring, but childish is flat. Childish is irresponsible. You cannot rely on a childish person. So number three, remember, 
you will always have to go in a pendulum movement between the light and the shadow in order to master this life path, in order to harmonize it, in order to go up the spiral of mastering your unique major lesson in this lifetime. If you want to go deeper into numerology, I recommend that you check out my self-study numerology course. You'll find the link in the description below. It is a professionally made self-study course, very comprehensive, and you can take it at your own pace on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. If, on the other hand, you want to study numerology professionally, you can study with me one-on-one. -on -one. You will also find the link in the description below to the one-on-one -on -one professional numerology studies with me. Simply click on that link and contact me through the contact form and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you in the next videos.